welcome welcome back to artistic license my thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever i want and oh my god i had to switch right over because lunar holy crap nine months and you're currently on a nine month streak thank you so much for being subbed for so long and subbing once again i love you you're the best <laughs> welcome guys welcome to artistic license um y'all we have a very special stream today. You know why it's a very special stream? Because we are finally going to finish the Pokemon meme that we've been working on for so long. And in honor of that, we're going to be playing Pokemon Trozy. This was a game for a DS. Um, it was kind of it was kind of a uh, it was kind of a match three game, except you don't really match three. You'll see. We're going to get into it. So you probably didn't, weren't even thinking about this game at all ever until you clicked on this, right? But when this game came out, it was one of those Pokemon spinoff games, and I played the hell out of it. So we're going to see how much I remember. We're going to see if I'm still any good at this game. We'll find out together. I don't know. Oh, and Lunar with the first as well. Just You're just crushing it today, Lunar. You're just absolutely crushing it. How has your, how has your uh, day been? You have a good weekend planned? I hope so. Um, you can tell me all about it. We're going to go ahead and get the game started. So, boom. Here we go. Mochi! <gasps> Mochi's here too. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We've got, um, I don't normally do this kind of color scheme. You know what I mean? I'm normally more like neon or pastel, right? But I was like, you know what? I never do like primary colors. So we've got some, we got some crayon pride going on. We got some crayon pride, right? My nails are so short right now because I broke this one right here. And it's, it's just now, it's just now grown like past the fingers. So next time I'm going to have to file them all down again and um do a new do a new paint do a new uh, coat on there that's uh it's gonna be a while before i can use my peel off base again is what i'm trying to say because it'll pop right off because my nails are so short anyway let's go can y'all hear that how does the um how does the audio level sound can you still hear me over the game i'm watching them right now i think i need to turn myself up just a little bit there just a little bit there we go i think that's probably good y'all tell me if it's not I worked this weekend, I was off last weekend, it'll be off next weekend. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that sounds good. I like that. All right, so this is Pokemon Trozy. We're gonna play through the adventure mode. Literally all I have done so far with this game is, um, is open it up, I made sure that it ran, and then I reset everything, right? So this is like 99% based off of what the game tells me today and what memories I have from when this game came out. Like, oh my gosh seven years ago or something um something like that all right here we go whoa she looks cool getting a phone call miss fleetfoot lucy fleetfoot this is professor p I pulled out the controller, but I don't think that's gonna work. Hang on, let me just let me just do this real quick. Okay, there we go. Now let's try that. Oh, what happened? I think I accidentally back cut backed out of the cutscene. Hang on. Mm, let's reopen it. I think I press B instead of A. Okay, here we go. For real this time. There we go. I press A, so we won't <gasps> get backed out of the cutscene. I love the effort of trying to add a little bit of a plot to uh, to a, a match three game. Miss Fleetfoot, Lucy Fleetfoot, this is Professor P. Oh no, I guess I did press the right button. Let's see. Let me check. Yeah, B should be A and B should be X, okay. Maybe I'm supposed to just tap. Yeah, I'm supposed to just tap. There appears to be trouble brewing. The despicable Phobos Battalion, they're up to no good. They've been stealing Pokemon, still in their Pokeballs, from around the world. 
That sounds pretty evil. The stolen Pokemon appear to be gathered in secret storage locations. There must be some motive behind the dastardly caper. Even I cannot understand what drives them. But no matter. Hurry back to the soul base, please. Whoa. Magical girl superhero transformation. Okay, here we go. Soul base, Soul's central headquarters. Professor P can be found here. Okay, let's go. Ah, Miss Fleetfoot, how are you? Very good to see you so promptly. Now let me brief you on your new assignment. You are to infiltrate the secret storage location of the Phobos Battalion. There you shall recover the stolen Pokemon in their Pokeballs. That's easier said than done, I know. I imagine there will be countless Pokeballs at every location. It will simply be impossible for you to carry them out on your own. So we've prepared a new device, which you'll find most useful. Rather than explain, I'll have you watch this video. Ahem, I have succeeded in creating a revolutionary device. Introducing Soul's latest gadget, its name, the Trozy Beamer. Using this pile of Pokeballs, let me demonstrate how the Trozy Beamer works. The Trozy Beamer has two functions. First, it has an x-ray scanning system. When you scan Pokeballs with the Trozy Beamer, it identifies the Pokemon inside. Pikachu are in these Pokeballs. The Trozy Beamer has another function, beam transfer of Pokemon. But capturing the Pokemon in their Pokeballs isn't easy. Those Pokemon must be emitting enough of a signal to be caught. One Pokemon alone doesn't give off enough of a signal. To boost the signal of the Pokemon, you need more than one. In fact, you need to line up four of the same kind, so you can see it's a match four game. Lining up four strengthens the signal they emit. It lets us lock on the Pokemon so they can be transferred. The transfer Pokemon are sent up to our Soul Satellite. They are then relayed to our Soul Base, far from the scene. As a result, we've rescued some Pikachu from harm. Do you understand how the Trozy Beamer works? Using it, Pokemon can be rescued without taking their Pokeballs. We're finding out together, Ivy. <laughs> you probably don't remember this game, but it came up for the DS. Uh, remember, now, for Pokemon to be transferred from captivity, you must line up four identical, identical Pokemon in a row, up, down, or sideways. However, it's foolish to try to describe this process in words. It will be much quicker if you try it for yourself. Tests are underway at the laboratory next door. You should go there and try it out for yourself. The Trozy Beamer, I'm sure you'll get to like it. I blame the Karens. You should. It's all my fault. Okay, based on how this looks, I might swap the screens because I just realized we were looking at the small, what's small, the small one on y'all's view a lot. Miss, Miss Fleetfoot at the lab will have you try out the Trozy Beamer. It will be a simple training program allowing you to get some practice. The training program consists of five stages. You'll be instructed on how to move the Pokemon in these stages. The object is to Trozy all the Pokemon. There must not be any Pokemon left behind. There will always be a way for you to Trozy every single Pokemon. Try to clear all five stages. Okay. If you succeed, Soul will award a prize coin. These prize coins are awarded only to the best agents. Well, I'm the best agent. There are awards for excellent performances. Well then, are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Okay. So slide the Soul Rock in the top row to the right and make it drop. Line up four identical Pokemon and it will disappear. Okay. Boop, there we go. Okay, yeah, I think y'all need to, y'all probably need to see this like all together, the way that this game works. But I can't use what I would normally use for this type of emulator, I think. Let's make this bigger. Put it in the middle of the screen for y'all. Okay, and then I'll hide the other one. There we go. Okay, I think this works better for this game. Oh, by the way, if y'all want baby cam, I've got Oreo here beside me. 
Um, if anybody wants to see, you can see the babies, and I will um, give him a little camera there. All right, in the same way, make the top row soul mo rock drop down, lining up five identical Pokemon. Also, Trozy them so they disappear. Okay, understood. Could put the Karen in the big spot, too. <laughs> no, y'all don't need to see. Y'all don't need to see giant Karen the whole stream. Clear. Okay. Slide the row containing the soul rock to the right. As long as four of them line up, you'll Trozy them so they disappear. Okay. I think that's like this. Yes. Okay. Trozy. So this is our little tutorial level, and then I guess we'll play a real level after this. Slide down the soul rock in the top row. Okay. Now we're missing a screen. You're not missing it. It's you just see them all together. This game doesn't have like the separate top and bottom screen the way that a lot of games do. It's just all one. Yeah. I did not realize that when I set up this overlay. I did not remember. <laughs> Because all I did was load this up and made sure it worked. Okay, just like before, slide the ditto down. The ditto special. Okay, so ditto's our wild card. Got it. There we go. Look at the combo. Soul rock. Okay. I did it. You appear to have mastered the use of the Trozy Beamer. By the way, there are other places for you to train. There are several other soul laboratories. If you feel the need to sharpen your skills, they're the place. Please simply drop by whenever you like. Oh, I've just received a transmission from the soul satellite. It's detected a Phobos Battalion secret storage. I must ask you to be on your way. We depend on you, Miss Fleetfoot. Oh boy, okay. I have mission. We have to, we have to save the Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna try to see these guys. Prize target. 5,000 points, Pokemon to be Trozy 50. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready to save the Pokemon. That's me. Okay, we can do it, guys. We can do it. Oh, Butterfree, Venomoth, and Ludicolo. Okay. There's so much I don't remember about this game. Did y'all ever play, um, like, Bejeweled or games like that? Um, my mom used to waste a bunch of time playing Bejeweled on Facebook. Like, it was like her, uh, it was part of like her morning routine, you know? Um, kind of like doing a crossword puzzle or something, but she would play Bejeweled. We did it! Yeah, what, um, what match three type games did you play, Ivy? My whole family, a lot of them still do. Yeah, they're really good time wasters. Bravo, Miss Fleet, Fleet Foot, a job well done. The secret storage you infiltrated gave us more data. We've newly located another one of their storage sites. There should be stolen Pokeballs there as well. We need you to go there and recover those Pokemon. They pick Candy Crush every now and then. Oh my god. Um, we're counting on you, Miss Fleetfoot. I had a coworker that was, like, obsessed with Candy Crush. Like, she, what, if you asked her, like, what her, what uh, her current goals were, she would be like, oh, um, to, uh, to beat all the levels of Candy Crush. Of course, they'd always release new levels every time she'd get close to actually doing that, so it never happened. Um, but it was kind of funny. Uh, I really admired her for that. I wonder, I, I don't work at that place anymore, but I wonder if, um, if she ever got, how close she ever got, you know? Because I know they continue to still release more ridiculous levels. Oh no, I did that wrong. Oh no, I didn't. That was what we were supposed to do. Oh, it combos. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, because once you match four... Slide up the soul rock to trozy them. Okay, you can slide them up too. I had forgotten about that. I'm glad I did this tutorial.
Yeah, so normally it won't match three and two, but if you just match the four, then it'll do some combos of matching three and two. Helper Ditto will drop if you line up more Pokemon than needed to Trozzi. Line up all five Soul Rocks. Okay. I did it. Big Candy Crush now, too. Oh. Um, I never really super got into Candy Crush. For some reason, like, the mobile versions of the games, I don't know, I can't get into it. But you know another, like, match three type of game I got super, super into? This is another old game. Um, but uh, I got super, super into Tetris Attack when that was out. I want to say that was for, like, the GameCube or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, hey, lady. Hang on, lady's here. Lady, it's okay, it's okay. He says hi. Meow for them. Well, she won't meow now because I picked her up. But there we go. Here you go. You can sleep with your brother. Go to sleep. It's okay. Okay. All right. Make every Pokemon disappear with continuous traces. Yes. Understood. There we go. I did it. Oh, you want to lay in the lap, lady? Okay. Okay. Woo! I chose eat them. Oh, and I got a prize coin. Yay. Okay, I guess let's do the other tutorial one. Because it'll probably help me remember more. Even while the countdown is sticking, you'd slide Pokemon. Yes, I did figure that part out already. So thank you, game, for making sure I knew. Yeah, they just remade Pokemon Snap. I think it would be funny if they um, remade Pokemon Trozy too. Because I think this only has the first and second generation of Pokemon in it. Um, but a Pokemon Trozy that had like all of them. Like that would be fun. Or something similar. You know. They don't really make as many um, Pokemon spinoff games now. I feel like that they have kind of like the main series. And they have like Pokemon Dungeon. You know and stuff like that. So... Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Um, you know, Mystery Dungeon, like, I feel like everything is, like, a, a series. They don't just make one-off spin-off games anymore, you know? Trozy the Soul Rock first. Okay. Oh, I didn't do it right. Oh, but the Ditto's done. Mystery Dungeon was met. Yeah, I never got into the Mystery Dungeons, but I feel like they're really popular, you know? But it was not for me. Try to Trozy Wooper, setting off continuous Trozy. After you Trozy only Soul Rock, it's a little complicated. Well, try to Trozy Wooper. Like that? And then Wooper? Is that what they want me to do? Oh, yeah, that was right. That's what they wanted. Okay. Fabulous. And got another prize coin. All right, let's do this level now. Secret Storage 2, storehouse filled with Pokeballs, stolen by the Phobos Battalion. Can I Trozy them? Let's find out. Ivysaur, Weeping Bell, and Cacturn. Okay. Don't worry, guys, I will save you. Those dittos are very helpful. Final Trozy chance. Oh, there's nothing else to Trozy. Well, oh, I could have done the paw dance, but it's okay. Miss Fleetfoot, very well done. You're doing marvelously. Thanks to you, we found yet another suspicious sight. Continue your assignment. We're counting on you. 
Okay. Secret storage three. We can do this, y'all. We gotta save the vile plumes, Nidorinos, and Venusaurs. Okay. I'm saving you. Don't worry, vile plumes, Nidorinos, and Venusaurs. I'm coming. I will help. Hell yeah. Good combo. Oh, there's the Nidorino. Oh. Quick enough. Gotta do better on those final chance trozies. Yay! Oh, what's this? Miss Fleetfoot, we have a bit of a situation. The Phobos Battalion has a giant vehicle called the Phobos Mobile. It's an enormous transporter of Pokeballs. It's gathering up the stolen Pokeballs and appears to be carrying them to an unknown site. What motivates them to gather so many Pokeballs? It's unnatural how they're bringing together so many. Miss Fleetfoot, I have a bad feeling about this. Regardless, I must ask you to carry on with your duty. Your forays will bring new information to light. Well, if this is anything like any of the other um, Pokemon games, the reason they're gathering Pokemon, like I can tell you, it's because Pokemon are the entire economy. They're the entire economy of this world. Like they do everything. They're the animals, they're the workforce, you know, you use them to gain power in the Pokemon League. Bzz, we have an intruder. Who would dare do that? I, General Buzz, won't have anyone lose the Phobos train. Bzz, who's that? Who has broken our security? Catch them, I say. They will be exposed. I don't know why he has a robot voice. That's just the vibe that he gave me. What's happening? Why are they not trozying? There we go. It's like I definitely had some match fours in there. What's what is happening? Oh, those things are there to stop me, aren't they? That's annoying. Stop throwing those balls at me. I don't want your balls, sir. It's not very nice. Balls are everywhere! So rude. Y'all should not- Y'all know, just don't fling your balls at people unless they specifically ask. You know, otherwise it's just, like, not cool.
Yes, nobody ever taught that to General Buzz. I'm sorry that your parents failed you. And now you have to capture Pokeballs. For some kind of nefarious plot. Forgot there's nothing I can do with the ones on the top. Get down here. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. <gasps> no, I'm gonna lose. I let it get too full. Ah! Game over. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's try Buzz again. I guess this is supposed to be, like, since it's the boss, it's supposed to be, like, the first kind of challenging level. So let's see. We'll try again. Try to get past this man. Oh, there's a bunch of Bulbasaurs. That's that's wonderful. I did it. And obviously the way this game works works with the um, DS controls like it was designed for the DS, but um, I think they could still make like a match, you know, a matching Pokemon game for more modern systems and it would be, could be good, you know what I'm saying? Intruder is fast. You cleaned us out of all the Pokeballs we had. Bzz, don't forget this. We'll get payback. You can be sure of that. You will learn the true terror of the Phobos Battalion. Bzz. Oh, he running. He running away. Oh. Oh no, he ran. Okay. And then unlocked a new area. Secret storage 4. A storehouse filled with Pokeballs stolen by the Phobos Battalion. Okay. Swallow, Crobat, and Pseudowoodo is the ones they want me to trosey. And I, so far, haven't ended up getting any of the ones that they're, like, trying to get me to get, you know?
know, so far the only thing that's really truly difficult is talking and doing this at the same time. I feel like if you wanted to like stream these types of games a lot and be successful at it, you'd have to be like such a dang good player that people would come to watch for like your skill level. Why does that say one on it? A huge storage one. Oh my gosh. Let's do secret storage five first. Clear. All right. Does that does that unlock? Does that unlock any? There, I, there's eventually going to be a fourth tutorial there. All right. Secret storage number six. Let's go. I can't remember how far, um, when I was a kid and I played the hell out of this game, how far I got, um before I was kind of like done with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sure there was a point where it got hard enough where I was just like, meh, I'm good, I'm done with this. But I just don't, I don't recall. Um, so we'll see how far we get tonight. I, I honestly don't know. You know, some of these old games I have um, much more vivid memories of than others, you know? I think it just really depends like how much it grabbed me. I do remember spending a lot of time on this game, but I don't have super vivid memories like of playing this game and what playing it was like, you know? <clears throat> I just remember like, oh, this is a Pokemon spin-off game that they never made more of, and I think that's interesting. I mean, this is a very, very, now like I'm playing it again, I'm seeing this as like a very, very like unique to the DS game, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. did it. Ivy, are you doing anything fun this weekend? Just by the way. 
Ah, Miss Fleetfoot. We've pinpointed yet another Phobos mobile. It also appears to be carrying countless Pokeballs. Infiltrate it and recover the Pokeballs as always. We're counting on you, your success. We're counting on your success, Miss Fleetfoot. My buddy is having a re-wedding. Oh, like renewing their vows? Oh, that sounds so fun. So I'm traveling a couple of hours and visiting. Are they having like a reception or anything? Like a party? I want to go to a vow renewal party. That sounds so fun. Have some hors d'oeuvres. Have some like, um, have some open bar. You know what I'm saying? That sounds, that sounds really cool, Ivy. I'm very jealous of your weekend. <clears throat> Come to Ohio can be my date. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can make it to Ohio. I think my husband will be a little bit weirded out by like, yeah, I'm going on a date with one of my um, Twitch viewers. He'll be like, hmm. <laughs> I think he'd think that was a little bit weird. But, uh, but you know, if I was closer. I'm not in Ohio, though. So sadly. Yeah, for sure. I hear what you're saying. Hey, a lot of people, though, from Ohio come around here. I'm in South Carolina, actually. We get a lot of Ohio license plates in South Carolina. Maybe you can tell me what's up with that. Why is everybody from Ohio vacation in South Carolina? What's, why? Like, what is it? What's going on here? You know, is like Florida too far away? Is that the, is that the dealio? So they come to South Carolina because it's like, you know, we got Dirty Myrtle and stuff. I'm from New York. Oh, I see. You don't know, you don't know the mysteries. Florida's probably too hot for them. Oh, maybe. I don't know. They can't drive for shit. <laughs> you know what? I've lived a, a couple different places, and I have never lived anywhere where people can drive. So I'm convinced that's just like a universal thing. No one anywhere ever can drive for anything. It's just, you know, driving is just not a skill most humans have. At least they're not proficient at it, you know? I mean, they can do it well enough to get around, but that's about it. Slides. That's Lot's Salt and Sanctuary. Oh, so the salt is found to bound to build soon. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I don't know, the air is pretty salty around here too though. I mean, I feel like anywhere that's kind of like close to the ocean you get a lot of salt air. Florida's particularly bad, but anywhere coastal I think you can get that. Alright. <clears throat> All right, let's try another boss. Phobos Mobile, number two, Phobos Jet. Phobos Battalion's enormous airplane has no match in the sky. I was talking about the game. Oh, the game. <laughs> what? The Phobos Jet has been infiltrated by an intruder. That cannot be, not under my watch. For I am the general. Great General Avery. Catch the interloper. We'll feed them to the Firo. I don't want to be fed to Firo. I don't want to be fed to Firo. <gasps> don't feed me to the Firo. I have so much to live for. I don't want to be Firo food. We have to win so that I don't get eaten. This music reminds me so much of the music from some other video game and I can't, like, place it. Oh no, the balls come from the side this time. That's wrong. 
can't be sideswiping me like that. I dislike it. So rude. Killed four out of 19 bosses. In this game? Uh-uh, I was about to trozy, and you blocked me with your weird sideswipe in salt. Oh, in salt. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I have to go based on silhouettes? Gosh. Sir. Who's that? Pokemon! Yeah, they may play Who's That Pokemon against my will. Against my will, playing Who's That Pokemon. Alright. Did it again. I don't like that silhouette move now. I don't like it at all. Not into it. The only thing that's, uh, that's weird about playing this, where I can stream it, you know, is like, <laughs> I can't tell which screen is actually the touch screen and which is not, so it's a little bit difficult to tell which of the Pokemon I can manipulate, like which rows I can manipulate and which I can't. <laughs> so that's interesting. Ah, oh, no, silhouettes again! Push it out the way. That's so rude. Dang it. Didn't get that one. Didn't get that one. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we'll try it again. Come on, Avery.
Oh yeah. You gotta stop doing those balls from the side. That is like so wrong. Messing it all up. Oh my god. At least the silhouettes only last until I get like one trozy and then it goes away. Crazy with those balls, that's awesome. Oh, so sorry, Ivy. You better get Jester some payback. Did it that time. Only took two tries. No problem. How dare you, you meddling fool! How dare you meddle! We will make a tactical retreat today, meddler. But the Phobos Battalion's great plan remains intact. You, meddler! Don't you forget it. Don't worry, I won't. I won't. I won't forget how I kicked your booty. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Moshi. I really appreciate it. Moji, what are you doing this weekend? Are you doing anything fun? <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, um, Maquamax, Maquamax, what's up? Let's see, let's give you a shout out. Mac Maquamax, I, I don't think I know you, how did you find the stream? Super Mario Odyssey. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Are you part of the Wolves Den? How'd you find me? Oh, from the Den, okay, fabulous, yes. As you all know, the Wolves Den is wonderful, the Den. You should be in there if you stream or you want to network with streamers. Oh, just spending time with the fam. That's what I'm doing too, Mochi. <sighs> welcome, guys. Welcome. We are playing Pokemon Trozy. We've beaten, so far, we've beaten two bosses. Um, we are playing this game basically based on the tutorial and my memory from, uh, what is it, seven years ago when this game came out. Uh, I definitely sunk some hours into it when I was a kid, and uh, and so I love to play games like that a lot. So that's why we're playing some Pokemon Trozy today. This was for a DS, for the DS. Okay. A storehouse filled with Pokeballs stolen by Phobos Battalions. Oh, Secret Storage 7. Okay, Secret Storage 7. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. <clears throat> Oh yeah. If 
any of y'all raiders like match three games, this is a pretty darn good one, if I do say so myself. Um, I know I have wasted a lot of hours on it as a kid, and um, I'm seeing now exactly why I did that. Um, I mean, it's Pokemon. I'm not usually super into match three games, but considering that it's Pokemon, um, I, I can kind of get like that, that zone outness, you know, that people get from match three games that makes them so fun. So I'm like, oh yeah, I could just spend like so many hours just matching Pokemon. <laughs> you know, some people, the gems do it for them. For me, apparently it's gotta be Pokemon. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, this game is really fun. For the DS. For the DS. Rest in peace. I know it was discontinued. Still a really good system. One of the best handheld systems, uh, ever, I feel. I played it a lot. Although I do love my Switch Lite, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I do love it, but the DS, man. I don't know, me and the DS, like... I love that system. That's why I joined because I knew I'd do what Trezzy was, but I love Pokemon. Yeah! This game was awesome! This game was awesome. You know, um, back when the first couple generations of Pokemon came out, it was, like, ridiculous. Um, the amount of, like, Pokemon merch and games and things like that. So there was, like, these silly little spin-off games like this one. Alright, Secret Storehouse 8 time. But yeah, this is super fun. Very, very good, like, zone out, chill out game. Definitely a good morning with coffee kind of game, that sort of thing. Oh, no worries. I appreciate the raid. It's okay if you can't stay. Thank you for the raid. Um, Maximax, I'll have to make sure I go give you a follow um, after this so that I can catch some of your streams and return the favor at some point. I never stay long after I raid somebody either. <laughs> after streaming, I'm usually so like, you know, peopled out for that moment from um, talking and going on for like the two hours block that I normally stream that I'm just like, I'll raid somebody and I'll be in there for like two minutes then I'll like peace out. <laughs> be like, all right, it was cool, thanks, bye. <laughs> yeah, less than five, yep. Mm -hmm. Even if it's somebody that I like, like, I'm just, I'm just too much. It's just too much after streaming, you know, to stay. So I always try to raid something that I think you guys will um, enjoy and have fun watching, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, I will I'll keep it on to lurk for sure, but I'm just not actively there, you know. Let's do the huge storage too. Instead of going to the secret storage nine. Uh, good job, Ivy. Good job, good job. Whoa, I got a Trozy. Oh, nice.
Oh, almost a trivia, y'all. Another Trozy all. No, kitty cat, you want attention, don't you? Y'all hear that little meow? I don't know if the microphone picked it up. <laughs> Save these Pokemon, though. If I don't, then nefarious things are gonna happen. We don't know what, but something nefarious. You're not supposed to gather this many Pokeballs. If you do, you're up to something. Mochi! See your long comment. I'll read it in just a second. Oh, final chance. Yay, we're almost done. Okay. Um, I recently finished watching your VOD where you talked about Harry Potter. I really loved it. Hopefully catch the next one live. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Mochi. I'm so glad you liked it. You know, it was so cathartic for me really to talk about that stuff um, after, you know, JKR's comments. Um, and I'm really looking forward to talking about it more. We're actually going to talk, do a, um, a fandom episode for next Saturday. Um, that's going to be about the houses and uh and kind of what that did to fandom and, and various things like that um and then our next yeah and then our next uh media episode is going to be shadow and bone we're going to do the first season of the shadow and bone netflix show i just started my rewatch the other day oh, oh my god i love the show so much i can't wait to talk about it that'll be in the beginning of july okay hang on i gotta pet these kitty cats i gotta pet these kitty cats I know. I know. Y'all wants attention. We want attention, y'all. Hey. 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 Do y'all want to see them? Y'all want to see them? Let's just... Here. I'll do it for free. Here we go. Get the baby cam. Let's put them... Put them up here. No. We can put them down here, but let's move the game over just a little bit. Meow, I know. Meow. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right.
actually let's rearrange it we have more space for the chat then we have the chat down there there we go okay yeah rearranging the stream live i'm so professional i know kitty cats i know y'all are just so cute y'all are just so cute okay oreo don't worry i've got you too i've got you too this one's lady vox and this one's oreo they're litter mates they're very very cute okay here we go we gotta save more pokemon y'all you ready are y'all ready chat's ready kitty's ready i'm ready let's go Oh, I know. Those are some big meows. You have big meows. I hear them. I know. I know. Oh, you want to go get in the lap. Okay, you can get in the lap. I have to save these Pokemon, though. Oreo, please don't step on the keyboard. That would not be very nice. We can't save the Pokemon if you're walking on the keyboard. You understand that, right? We want to save the Pokemon. There we go. Okay. I thought he was going to walk on the keyboard, <laughs> but he didn't. They're learning. I'm trying to teach them like keyboards are not for walking, you know, and some things like that. And it's slow because they're kittens, but I think he's learning a little bit. They know I don't like it anyway. They know I don't like it when they walk on keyboards. So that's something. Sometimes they just get too excited, you know. I know there's a lot of movement going on in this screen. That's very exciting, isn't it? Isn't that exciting, Ornio? He's like his face in the screen watching so intently. Okay, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see Oreo. <gasps> can't see Oreo. Back up. Kitty cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we unlocked another one. We've pinpointed yet another Phobos mobile. It also appears to be carrying countless Pokeballs. Infiltrate it and recover the Pokeballs as always. We're counting on you. Your success, Miss Fleetwood. Oh, we're counting on your success. I always read that line wrong. Okay, well, before we do that, let's do this one right here, the secret storage 10. And then we'll go do the, the boss. walking like right in front of the thing he wants to like catch the pokemon <laughs> oh my word you played like so much before stream like we were eating dinner you were playing so hard i thought you would sleep all stream but um we cannot be so lucky i suppose oh no worries thank you so much for stopping by mochi um, hopefully see you on Saturday to talk about uh, Harry Potter houses, and then um, the first Saturday in July to talk about Shadow and Bone. Oreo, <laughs> you, you're making this very chaotic. You're making this very chaotic. It does not have to be. Okay, there we go. He's distracted by 
try something else. Trozy all, hell yeah. Why did the Kappa Pops disappear so quickly? That's weird. said it's time to leave. That's okay though. That's okay, lady. You can stay or go whatever you want. Alright. Beat that one. Let's go get this drill. Phobos drill. I like this music. Wah! Who's the clown who's broken into the Phobos drill? Don't they know they're dealing with me, General Grok? They must be a soul agent. Rawr, now I'm angry. When we catch the intruder, we'll make them our drill cleaner forever. I don't want to be a drill cleaner. They said they were going to feed me to the Furos. That didn't happen. You think I'm going to be a drill cleaner? I'm not going to be a no drill cleaner. I'm going to beat you. It might take a few tries. Might take a few tries, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because we're the best. I know what this music reminds me of. It reminds me of some of the music from um, Final Fantasy X-2. That's what I'm thinking of. There's like these sections of um, Final Fantasy X-2 where there's like this jazzy kind of music, you know? And um... This reminds me hella of that. It's like almost the same. It's like really almost the same. Like I don't know if that's like happenstance or if it was like kind of, you know, um, like still in the person's mind. I have to look. When did Ten Two come out? I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, this reminds me so much of some of the music from Ten Two. That's another good game, by the way. One of the best Final Fantasy combat systems um, in 10 2. Don't at me, I'm right. All these bosses and their balls. It's too much. I can't handle it. You better not start climbing curtains. You better not start climbing curtains. You know you're not supposed to do that. You climbing curtains. I can hear it. I can tell. If I just looked behind me, I would see him climbing curtains. He's behind me, isn't he? Hopefully y'all can't tell yet, but they have clawed up this whole area of the curtain where the, uh, where the ears, the cat ears hang. <gasps> oh my god. At some point when they get over it, um, and they're bored of climbing curtains, I'll have to buy a new one, I think. Because it is so holy.
Uh oh. I lose him again. Didn't lose. Clear. First try that time. Oh, are y'all are y'all both being ruffians now? Uh uh now. Don't you eat cords? That's not that's not food. That's not food, lady. It's playtime apparently. Come on, guys. Come here. Go play. Go play. Alright. Let's turn off the baby cam. There we go. Okay, since they're not there. Alright. We did get that level. Ooh, all the Pokemon we collected, they're all gone! We, the generals, stole all these Pokemon. Why would you admit that, sir? We did it on Baros, Baron Phobos' orders. We were to gather them at the foot of the volcano, but all of our efforts have gone to waste because of you. Ooh, ah, there's no choice. Tactical, temporary, retreat! Oh, there's the final tutorial. Let's see about it. A lab that researchers use as a trace of humor. Okay. From now on, the stages are going to be quite challenging. I won't give you any hints. Try to clear the stages using your own wits. I see the move that will clear it. Boom. All right, y'all. We're not doing that. Come on. Here. Here you go. They keep they keep chewing cords and jumping on the curtain. I'm gonna put them uh, on the other side of the room where their toys are. Hopefully their toys distract them. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's almost 8 o'clock already, y'all. We'll see how much more of this we play before we just finish out the Pokemon meme. Can you clear this stage? It may be tough, but I hope you accept my challenge. Mm. Maybe this? did it. Can you clear this stage? I'll try, sir. I did it. Okay, can you clear this stage? It may be tough, but I hope you accept my challenge. I accept all of your challenges. That's obviously the first move. Yeah. Can you clear this stage? I mean, I'm just like victory all over the place with these little tutorial levels. Okay. I wonder if, what I can use the coins for. Ah, oh, Miss Fleetfoot. What's the matter? You wanted to see me again? Let me refresh you on your current assignment. This is your assignment. You are to infiltrate the secret storage locations of the Phobos Battalion. There you shall recover the stolen Pokemon and their Pokeballs. That's easier said than done, I know. I imagine there will be countless Pokeballs at every location. It will be simply impossible for you to carry them out on your own, so we prepared it. I mean, I, I already know all this. This is exactly what you told me for. Okay. Come on. I thought it was going to do something new, or tell me what I could do with my coins. But I can't remember. I already know all of this, sir. I don't know why you would just play the same cutscene again. This is strange. Why would I want to see this cutscene again? Okay, so there's 
there really, there's no reason to go back there. Okay, we did all those. All right. Secret storage 11. Let's go. No. The levels do get harder. <laughs> ah. I don't know what that sound was. But I did something awesome. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, and another boss. Oh, I don't know if we have time to do another boss. Okay. Let's do, let's do this one. Secret storage. Thumper! Hey! How have you been? You're here in time. For us to finish the Pokemon meme together. Yeah, we've beaten three bosses so far. Um, and we just unlocked the fourth one. I'm alright, I just got the keys to- Oh, you got the keys to your new apartment! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Thumper, I'm so happy for you with all that. I don't think I've said, um, said anything too much. Like, the timing hasn't worked out for me to speak up, but I, I keep thinking, like, oh, I need to tell, I need to say something. I need to tell, um, I need to tell Thumper about, like, congratulations on the new apartment. So yeah, anyway, officially, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I think you're gonna be so happy having your own space, you know? It's exciting having a new bed and new recliner and new space. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, I love me a good recliner now. Very weird being a whole adult. <laughs> Don't forget you've been an adult for a while. Come on now. Um <laughs> but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I feel like the next um, step in that is uh, is like uh, you know when I when I bought my house after renting for so long it was kind of like whoa you know it's such a weird feeling 
And I think living on your own when you've um, lived with people for a while is kind of similar, you know? I never had to be the peep. Oh. It's the only thing about play trying to play a match three game on stream, trying to watch chat at the same time, is nigh impossible. I was doing pretty good, but um, you actually came in when the levels started getting a bit challenging. But the game told me that was going to happen, so, you know, I expected it. Uh, well, I never had to be the people are building my bed in my apartment right now, adult before. <laughs> Drew, um, I own furniture for the first time in my life. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, I'm so ex I'm so happy for you, Thumper. Oh, they knocked down the ears. Of course y'all did. These are not toys. These were gifts from Laura. Um, you can't destroy them. Yeah, I know what you mean about, you know, having... They can't resist, y'all. They just can't resist. They can't resist. We're gonna... I'm just gonna take these off the... off the set. There we go, so they're not tempting them anymore. What's the satellite thing? Oh, that's the Trozy beam! That, that Trozy's the Pokémon. Hang on. <clears throat> They're eating cords, so I gotta stop them. Come here, Oreo. Come here, Oreo. Don't eat that. Ugh. Don't eat that. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> I had them on the baby cam for just a little bit while they were sleeping, but um, but they woke up and it was playtime. <laughs> All right, well, Thumper, in, in honor of you being here, um, for the last one, we'll try to beat the boss and then we'll finish out the Pokemon meme. A bizarre building constructed of junkyard debris fitted together. Yeah. Who is that? Who are you? It's not good. Not good, you'd be here. Me? Mr. Hoop? That is me. I love junk. Yes, I do. You know there are strange machines moving around? I chase those machines. Yes, they drop many things. Round things they drop, like balls. <laughs> those things they drop. I like very much those things like balls, yes? I pick up and collect them. I collect very many, many. What? Those things? Precious Pokeballs they are. What they are? I know nothing. Junk I know. Nothing else I know. You want to see? You want those balls. You are strange, yes. Hmm. What should I do? Very hard it was, you see. You collect so many I did. Uh, you have nice coin. You are strange, but it is nice. Uh, I called prize coin. Yes, I see. You give me that coin for me. You give me coin. I let you play with balls for two minutes. Yes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> exactly, Thumper. You had to be here for the final Pokemon meme episode. I stop collecting balls from now on. I collect those coins now. Okay, that's not okay. Hang on. Uh, okay, we'll take these. You want out? Come on, go. Go on, girl. Go. You want out? Go. Sorry, the dog wanted out of the room. Okay. A single prize coin gives you two minutes of playtime. Rare Pokemon may appear for you to Trozy. Oh. Well, maybe this isn't a boss. Maybe this is where I use the prize coins. The translation's a little rough. Ha ha. <laughs> no, I think he's supposed to talk like that. The other ones talked normal. Okay. Um, so I guess this is where I use my prize coins. This wasn't really a boss like I thought it was.
Oh. Oh, time's up. <clears throat> All right. Uh, no, we're done with that. <laughs> All right, we are going to stop Pokemon Trozy there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a little bit of a different game, an older game. Um, and uh, and I hope you en enjoyed uh, uh, me playing a match three game. I mean, we only really got through the beginning parts. So if you liked that, like I said, it's a DS game, so that's how you can get it. Um, but let's go ahead, back to webcam only for a second. Let's finish our Pokemon meme, y'all. We're gonna finally finish this um, after so, so long. Just getting my screen set up and then y'all will be able to see it. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and close Desmume. Okay, clear out the chat box. Y'all can see what's going on. There we go. Okay, y'all. Okay, here we go. So we're going to finish it up. Um, we don't have a lot left, as you guys can see. We're going to first finish up these two uh, Gen 3 Pokemon that we have here. So let's look at the Gen 3 water types. So we've got water. We'll do Generation 3. And we'll do... National Dex number there. Okay, so lots of choices here. We've got the Mudkip line, the Lotad line, the Wingull line, Surskit, Carvana line, Whalmer line, Barboach line, Corfish line, Feebas line. Um, we've got Rainy Cast Form, the Steel line, Clamperl, Huntail, and Gorbis, Relicanth, and Love Disc. Okay, so, oh, Thumper, I'm so happy you love Melotic, but we're actually gonna put Gorbis here, but hold on, just hold on, okay? So we're gonna put, let me find my, where I've got my water ones, okay. So we're gonna put Gorbis here for the water type for Gen 3. So let's go read about Gorbis. Let's go read about Gorbis. Okay, this is what Gorbis looks like, beautiful pink little eel guy. Okay, Gorbis lives in the southern seas at extreme depths. Its body is built to withstand the enormous pressure of water at incredible depths. Because of this, this Pokemon's body is unharmed by ordinary attacks. Although Gorbis is the very picture of elegance and beauty while swimming, it is also cruel. When it spots prey, this Pokemon inserts its thin mouth into the prey's body and drains the prey of its body fluids. Whoa. <laughs> so that's Gorbis right there. And Thumper, I'm so glad you said you love Melotic because because I also love Melotic so much I put it in my favorite for Gen 3. Um, Gorbis having the clamshell bra always unsettled me like nothing else about his body is humanoid right but it's gotta you know it's gotta cover the boobies it's gotta cover the boobies though you know <laughs> yeah I also love Melotic um, I mean, first of all, when you first, in the first generation that it appears in, in Gen 3, you have to do like the contest to raise his beauty, which I just think is like this awesome mechanic that they totally abandoned. I wish they hadn't. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. But anyways, this is Melotic. Beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. Let's read about it. Okay. Melotic is said to be the most beautiful of all the Pokemon. It has the power to become such emotions as anger and hostility to quell bitter feuding. Melotic lives at the bottom of large lakes. When this Pokemon's body glows a vivid pink, it releases a pulsing wave of energy that brings soothing calm to restless spirits. Oh, wonderful. I just love it. I love the lore of it. I love the mechanic of how it evolves. I just think this is one of the coolest Pokemon. Okay. All right, so next we're going to finish off Gen 4 here. We've got this slot here and this slot here. So let's go look at our Gen 4 normal types. Let's switch that to Gen 4. Let's switch this one. We'll turn off water and we'll turn on normal. I love my no-ticks, but I would absolutely hate it trying to chill out my ire. <gasps> Thumper! 
Oh my gosh, my rage is integral. Whatever. Whatever. If your rage is not integral, <laughs> you can be you and not rage. Okay, so normal types for Gen 4. We have the Starly line, the Baidoof line, we have Ambipom, the Bunnieri line, Glammeow line, Happenini, Chatot, Munchlax, Licky Licky, and Porygon Z. Incorrect, I am rage and sarcasm. Well, sarcasm, yes, okay. I don't know if you could remove the sarcasm from Thumper, but <laughs> I disagree on the rage. I disagree on the rage. Okay, anyway, so for the normal type, I like to do Glammeow in this slot. It's a little kitty cat Pokemon, you know, I love the kitty cat. Okay, let's go read about this little curly tail kitty cat. It claws if displeased and purrs when affectionate. Its fickleness is very popular among some. With its sharp glare, it pulls foes in a mild hypnotic state. It is a very fickle Pokemon. So another cat with a very cat-like description. Yes, exactly. It's just a cat. But that's okay. We love kitty cats. So let me go back up to my normal ones. And here we go. Glammeow. Glammeow. And then the Pokemon I like to put in this slot right here. We're looking at the normal type. So y'all can probably guess. Y'all can probably guess. It's everyone's favorite. Lopunny. Is Lopunny the bunny rabbit? Okay. Let's go read about it. An extremely cautious Pokemon, it cloaks its body with its fluffy ear fur when it senses danger. It is very conscious of its looks and never fails to groom its ears. It runs with springy jumps. Yeah, bun! I love this Pokemon, and this is the best bunny Pokemon. So there we go. Oh, wrong one. Y'all got a little spoiled there if you're paying attention. That's okay, though. Hang on. There we go. Right here. Lopunny. Lopunny is my one I like to put in my favorite for Gen 4. All right, so next, drum roll. We're going to finish off Gen 1, y'all. We're going to finish off those Gen 1 slots. So let's go look at Gen 1. I'm going to go back to the original. Okay, we're going to tackle normal types first, Gen 1 normal types. Okay, so our choices for Gen 1 normal types are the Pidgey line, the Rattata line, um, the Spiro line, Jigglypuff line, Meowth line, Farfetch'd, Doduo line, Lickitung, Chansey, Kangaskhan, Tauros, Ditto, Eevee, Porygon, and Snorlax. All right, scroll down so y'all can see all of those. Okay, so my favorite that I like to put in the Gen 1 slot is our seizure-causing friend, Porygon. It's not Porygon's fault, but Porygon gets blamed because the episode was about Porygon, but if you watch it, it's actually Pikachu that does the attack with the flashy-flashy Porygon. Why the Jello Monster? Because the Jello Monster is cool, Thumper. Jello Monster is cool. And I have a soft spot for the Pokemon that don't look like animals. I think they're cool. And Porygon is one of those. A Pokemon that consists entirely of programming code, capable of moving freely in cyberspace. The only Pokemon people anticipate can fly into space. None has managed this feat yet, however. It's a computer. Okay? It's a computer. And it's cool. All right. So here we go. Boop. Right there. You know what? That was later. It was later. We're not talking about Deoxys right now. Okay, we're talking about Porygon. God, no respect. Okay. Anyway, now if you look at these, it'll probably be obvious what I put in my favorite normal type. I'm going to follow the same pattern I've been following. We got to put Eevee in there. So Lunar, I know Lunar was here before, and um, you might still be lurking, or you might watch the VOD later, but here we go. Eevee goes in this slot. Eevee goes in this slot, so let's read about it. Okay, what do we have to say about little Eevee? Its genetic code is irregular. It may mutate if it is exposed to radiation from evolution stones. Its genetic code is unstable, so it can evolve in a variety of ways. There are only a few alive. Love me some Eevee. So here we go. Fave normal. Right there. Oh, we need to clear the chat again. We need to clear the chat again so everybody can see Eevee in its glory. Yes, evolution stones are radioactive. I think so. I think that fits. All right. Next, let's look at the flying types for Gen 1. Oh, dog wants back in. Hang on. Come here, follow 
unload that. There we go. Come on, you come back in. Come back in. Okay. Sure, why not? I think that fits, probably. All right, so here are the different flying um, types we can do for Gen 1. We've got Charizard, Butterfree, the Pidgey line, the Spearow line, the Zubat line, Farfetch, Doduo line, and Scyther, and Gyarados, and um, Aerodactyl. You are shaking my whole desk, Reed. Well, chill out. Okay, she settled. <laughs> so for flying types, I have to go with a Pokemon that um, I always end up using in my playthroughs, the ineffable Pidgeot. Okay, I always get a Pidgey and evolve it up. Pidgeot's awesome. All right, here we go. Let's read about him. When hunting, it skims the surface of water at high speed to pick off unwary prey such as Magikarp. This Pokemon flies at Mach 2 speed, seeking prey. Its large talons are feared as wicked weapons. All right, so, boom, Gen 1 flying type right there. Okay, next let's fill in that ground slot. All right, so our choices, let's pull those up. There's ground, Gen 1. Okay, so we've got Sand Shrew line, Nidto Queen and Nidto King, Diglett line, Geodude line, Onyx, Cubone line, and Rhyhorn line. So most of these Pokemon I'm not super fond of. However, I gotta go for the cuties. So my choice here is Cubone Bone Bone. Right there, little creepy guy wearing the skull. In out, in out, dog. You can go, it's okay. I'm not offended. Sandshrew, Sandshrew's a decent choice. Sandshrew's a decent choice. I, I'm not mad at it, but I go with Cubone. Sandshrew is pretty cute, but Cubone's cuter. Because it never removes its skull helmet, no one has ever seen this Pokemon's real face. Where's the skull of its deceased mother? Its cries echo inside the skull and come out as a sad melody. So here we go. Cubone, right there. All right, let's look at the water types. All right, water types for Gen 1. There are so many, y'all. There were so many water types in Gen 1. It's ridiculous. Look at this list. Holy crap. All right, we've got Squirtle line. We've got Psyduck line, Poliwag line, Tentacool line, so Slowpoke line, Seal line, Shelter line, Krabby line, Horsey line, Goldeen line, Staryu line, Magikarp line, Lapras, Vaporeon, Amanite line, and Kabuto line. So my choice for water is dugong so let's read about it dugong oh you said it before i pulled it up that's awesome um i want to know how you get cubones without murdering the mother you don't that's how always one of my favorite pokemon yeah i love the dugongs i think they're really cool um seal is kind of like i mean it's cute right and like it's kind of like derp cute right and then it evolves and it's just like this beautiful elegant like dogfish adorableness okay let's go stores thermal energy in its body swims at a steady eight knots even in intensely cold waters its entire body is a snowy white unharmed by even intense cold it swims powerfully in icy waters so yeah dugong goes right there and then all right the pokemon that I like to put in my favoritest of favorite favorite all time slots is Vaporeon. Okay, this is the best Pokemon. Don't at me. There's no debate. Vaporeon is the best. Best evolution. Evolutions are the best. Okay, let's read about him. Let's read about this absolute king, Vaporeon. Okay, so cute, right? Fox, dog, mermaid thing. All my favorites in one thing. We don't talk about that meme. We don't talk about that meme. Okay. Lives close to water. Its long tail is rigid with a fin, which is often mistaken for a mermaid's. Its cell structure is similar to water molecules. 
it will melt away and become invisible in water. Yes, his Japanese name is Showers. Yeah, it's got cool names. All of its names are water, right? So yeah, Japanese name is Shawaz. All right, so there we go. Y'all, we finished the Pokemon meme. Can you believe it? Okay, here, we have to do this just for posterity. back on okay the end the end of the pokemon meme we did it all right now what does this mean yes that is a wonderful question thumper what a great segue i'm so glad you asked so oh no this one's lady this is lady lady's here hi lady she came to to finish the pokemon meme we came to finish the Pokemon meme. Okay, so yes, we're going to be doing a new meme. So we're not going to be doing an ending meme anymore. I think that we're only going to be doing that as part of the intro. So what I'm going to shift to, instead of doing uh, the Pokemon meme at the end, obviously we're done with that one, what we're going to be doing at the beginning of streams to kind of introduce things is we're going to do a little personality quiz, right? We're going to do little personality quizzes. I think it's going to be super fun. Um... I'm going to, starting next uh, next Artistic License stream, add a channel point redeem for suggesting personality quizzes that you guys would like me to do. So if there's certain ones you would like, then, um, then I'm happy to do those. They're going to be ones that I, the ones that I'm going to pick are probably going to be not very serious, just so that y'all kind of get the vibe. So I'll pick the first one. We'll do it. Y'all are welcome to do it with me. I would love for you to, if you come early to the streams, do it with me and see what the results are for you too, so we can compare, right? Um, but then we won't have an ending meme anymore. We'll just do that at the beginning of streams for our kind of, our, our fun kind of warm up thing. <laughs> yes, UQuiz is one of my favorite sites to get them because they have the dumbest, silliest uh, quizzes. So um <laughs> so yeah thumper you are you are right on my level there you are like right on my level we are like we're really vibing with these so thumper that means you have to come to the streams when they start so that you can do the quizzes with me um i know i know that it's easier for you to come to like the second half of the stream but you got to start coming to the first half of the stream sometimes so that you can do the the personality quizzes with me on thursdays i know i know it doesn't really fit your schedule um but how about this if you show up if you show up late then just ask me what uh what quiz we did and i'll i'll link it for you right i'll link it for you um if you do happen to be a little bit late but try to show up so you can do it with with me so we can compare all right all right so okay here's what's up for next artistic license we're going to go back to final fantasy 10 of course um, we've got more side quests to do, okay? So what we're going to be focusing on on next Thursday is we're going to play some Blitzball. We're going to do some more monster catching. We're going to watch some more Braska spheres. There's so some more cutscenes with um, Braska inject and Orin, right? Young Orin. Um, also on, uh, on Interstage Window on Saturday, we're going to be doing a fandom episode. So what that means is we're going to be playing our Sims 2 Legacy, right? And what we're going to be talking about for this week's fandom episode is... Harry Potter houses and their larger effects on real life and fandom and like why that aspect of Harry Potter just blew the hell up. So that's what we're going to be talking about. If that interests you, come to Interstage Window on Saturday, noon Eastern. Um, if you want to see me see some more Final Fantasy X, come to Artistic License. That's Thursdays at 630 Eastern. 
Well, now that I'm going to be in my new apartment, I will no longer be behold. Oh, oh, that's a good point. That's a good point, Thumper. Okay, okay. I like this. I'm, I'm so glad you're able to get your own place. That's so, I'm just so happy for you. Um, I know how I felt when I finally got my own place and how uh, wonderful and, uh, and good that that was um, for me. So I'm really excited for you. Okay, so that's the next topics that we're going to be talking about. Um, I hope to see you all there. Uh, here is all of my socials where you can find me. So y'all can, um, y'all can follow me on the other places. If you want to become a patron, you can do that as well. Y'all know how all of that works. I do the same, same kind of jam as every other content creator. Not anything super different there. Everything that you would expect. Okay. Let's find somebody to raid. Let's see who is online right now. Who's here? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a new, um, a new Wolves Den friend that I've been following. I think we should raid him. It's uh, Naffers, and he's playing Zero Hour right now. Let me just make sure he's not on a Be Right Back screen. I've got to, oh, I'm not subscribed to him. So it's play in the ad. It's play in the ad. Um, so yeah, you, the socials that I use, um, I use Twitter. So you're welcome to find me on there. That's the one I'm actually active on. I have a Patreon. I also have a PayPal if you want to give me money. Um, and then I have my YouTube channel. All of my VODs go on there, plus my Spare Room episodes, which is my scripted content, roleplay help content that goes up every other Wednesday. All right. Um, okay, he's playing Zero Hour, and he's there. Okay, sweet. Let's raid. If I can spell. Okay, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will see you on Saturday or um, or on next Thursday, whichever whichever I see you first. All right, y'all have fun. Y'all have fun watching um, Zero Hour. All right, bye everybody. See you later. And don't forget to make it a great day.